let's find the oxidation number of the iodine in this compound. Well, the first thing we can notice is that there's an alkali metal here. Alkali metals are going to have oxidation number of plus one, as this oxidation number chart shows. Next, we look at oxygen. Oxygen will have an oxidation number of minus two, except for special circumstances, where, for example, in some cases, it's bonded with hydrogen. And since hydrogen can only have an oxidation number of plus one or minus one, it forces oxygen to have an oxidation number that's different from minus two. Or for other cases like O2, two minus, or O2 minus, where if you add up the oxidation numbers of the oxygen and equate that to the net charge, the oxygen is forced to have an oxidation number that's different from minus two. This is not a special case, so the oxygen oxidation number is minus two. The iodine is an unknown oxidation number. Adding these up and setting it equal to the net charge of zero, we get x is equal to plus 5. So the oxidation number of the iodine is plus 5. Looking at the oxidation number chart, that is one of the possible oxidation states of iodine.